بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Dear brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and exclusively for Huda TV I greet you from the plains of Arafat it is almost 11 o'clock and everybody is geared up they're all waiting to listen to the khutbah in Arafat and then pray Dhuhr and Asr shortening and combining the prayers and then devote the rest of the time for dua Alhamdulillah the weather is mighty fine it's cloudy as you can see behind me this is the uh, uh, the Namira uh, Masjid in Arafat and um, everyone is as stated earlier ge are geared up for dua everybody has their own bucket list or a wish list which they present to Allah Azza wa Jal asking him to accept from them the difference is that they come to Allah Azza wa Jal not demanding not asking rather they are begging they are expressing their humility they're expressing their poverty they all come to Allah Azza wa Jal wearing the same dress code none of them has titles to boast by they have all dropped their pride got rid of their arrogance kings presidents wealthy people dignitaries they're all the same they're all here standing in front of the Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one that has everything in his hands, the one that nothing happens without his will. They come not to demand. They come begging for forgiveness. They come begging for acceptance. They ask in humility. They express their poverty. They show their humbleness and they get they get rid of everything that they have ever found pride in simply to get accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal. There is no day in the whole year that Allah Azza wa Jal sets people free from hellfire than the day of Arafat. They come to supplicate, to invoke Allah Azza wa Jal, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant them forgiveness and to rectify their affairs confessing of their own shortcomings of their own flaws they come in repentance this is a day which they have been waited which they have been waiting for all of their lives and this is a day to be anticipated we here in Arafat will devote the entire day to invoking Allah Azza wa Jal and unfortunately due to the fact that we are not used to doing that for long periods of time most likely shaitan would come to us and make us feel bored so we will alternate between prayer reading the Quran making dua reading dhikr and the best of dua as the Prophet had said والسلام, on the day of Arafah is لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير. And so many people of us ask, where is the dua? And also the dua of Prophet Jonah, Prophet Yunus, the one who was swallowed by the whale. His dua is لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. Where is the dua? What is he asking for? And this is a critical point that most of us don't realize. That dua is divided into two types. Dua of praising Allah Azza wa Jal and complimenting him, such as Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. This is all considered to be dua. And then there's the second type of dua, which is asking and requesting such as, Oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, pardon me. Oh Allah, have mercy on me. Oh Allah, grant me money, pay off my debts, 
guide my family, etc. And both types are dua. So the best of dua on the day of Arafat is the dua of Tawheed. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. This is where everything fall into p into its place because with tawheed your affairs in this dunya would be rectified and your sins on the day of judgment would be erased so as they say sincerely and truly wish you were here and may allah azza wa jal grant you the chance to feel what i'm feeling in the coming years when you come here for hajj هذا والله أعلم ونسبة العلمي إليه أسلم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد